Welcome back to Alec TV, coming to you from the 46th annual meeting in Austin, Texas. I'm Tom McLaughlin, and I'm here with uh, best-selling author and renowned public speaker Ron Ball. How's it going, Ron? Right, Tom, thank you. A pleasure to be here. We've had a great day already. I, that's what I hear. People keep coming come by. Ron, you had a great speech, Ron. I really love what you had to say. Uh, so uh, you were up there talking about choosing greatness. How do I choose greatness? <laughs> Everybody wants to be great. Right. That, that's universal. People say, how do I have a great life, a great marriage, a great anything? As you know, I host a television show, Choose Greatness, on Trinity Broadcast Network. And everybody calls into us and says, love the show. The reason is because we're practical and we say, do you want great finances? You do X, Y, Z. You want this, you do this. But it all starts with an attitude of greatness. Now, that doesn't mean an attitude of arrogance. It right. means an attitude of greatness because true greatness has a humble heart. And true greatness means you're gonna do something great to benefit other people. A great life is a giving life. So I think when you start with that attitude, you're on the road to greatness because you're doing good things for people. So it really is starting with the basics, huh? Absolutely, responsibility, great attitude. Uh, can I give you an example? Go right ahead. My wife, Amy, phenomenal wife, I love her with all my heart. Amy was in a beauty shop recently, getting her hair done, normal stuff, and this 16 year old girl bursts in all angry. Now her mom is doing my wife's hair, interrupts her work and says, it's not fair, it's not fair. And her mom horrified, says, what's wrong? The girl had just gotten a job at McDonald's restaurant and she was angry when she realized she was not gonna make enough money to buy a new car immediately. But what she didn't realize was, she didn't bring enough value to be paid enough for a new car. So her attitude was, it's not fair, it's not fair. Right. Really negative. What she needed to do, she wanted greatness in her life. She needed to have an attitude of, how can I make my employer better? How can I give? How can I contribute? And then someday they'll pay her enough she can get her car, but she has to contribute. And that, I think, is a key point. Absolutely. So you have a book. I do. It's also called Choose Greatness. It is, may I? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Plug it for and, us right um, here. This is the book, Choose Greatness. And the wonderful, exciting thing that we've been blown away by is that schools are starting to use this book. We have distributed 200,000 copies. And just to tell you, right. a school in Louisville, Kentucky, teacher just contacted me, said all the teenagers are reading this very simple book and they're walking it up and down the hallway chanting, choose greatness, choose greatness. So I'm pretty excited about that. Unbelievable. So in this book, is it, it's basically more just uh, more of these rules well, it's for live or well, stories it, it, and anecdotes? It, 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 for example, there's a, there's a chapter about socialism in this book, which is a big hot topic right now. Right. But it's a simple story-based explanation of what does not work with socialism and why free enterprise is better for people. But it's so friendly, it's so positive. We had a man president of a very liberal organization in Washington, D.C., right. an African-American gentleman. He called me and he was reading this book. Somebody gave it to him and he said, oh my goodness, I read your book and realized I'm a conservative Republican. <laughs> because he loved oh. the principles of the book. Because if you want greatness, there's a way to get there. Responsibility, family, uh, belief in God, all those things built America. Respect, uh, great attitude, hard work, uh, being a giver, all these things contribute. And this is a story-based book that tells you how to do it. That's awesome. So let's- And, 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 and choosegreatness.com tells about how to get the book. Awesome. So actually, let's turn it back now. We're here at Alec, right? So we're here in a room full of people who have been chosen by their constituencies to lead. What kind of message can you give to these people about how to lead effectively, how to be great in their daily lives? Well, I think it starts surprisingly with humility. If, if you go into any leadership position and it's about you, then you will destroy your opportunity. Because the one thing I have observed over the years that absolutely annihilates opportunity is ego. And if you go into something and it's all your agenda and you're selfish, then you will ruin that. I think people have an ego radar. They know when somebody is focused on themselves. And I had a great mentor years ago who told me, Ron, never make a needless enemy. It's true. And how do you make a needless enemy? 
by being a big shot, by acting better than them. So I think it starts with humility. And when you add humility to mission, when you have a purpose bigger than yourself, greater than yourself, and then you add determination, that combination is electric. It's explosive. You're humble, you have a great mission, and a great purpose and a great determination, that can produce great results. Absolutely. Ron, I wanted to thank you for giving me some of your time today. We really enjoyed your presentation Tom, earlier thank today. You. And uh, everyone, I'm going to remind you to choose greatness. Ron Ball, signing off from LTV. I couldn't have said it better. Thank you. <laughs>